Hey everyone, this is the Viperion here and welcome back to the channel for another Crash Team Racing video. And this time we'll be taking a look at the Silver Speedway shortcut. More specifically, this jump over here where you have to take a specific way to take the shortcut. Previously, about a few months back in time of this recording, this shortcut was quite messed up as even with a perfect setup, you won't make the shortcut most of the time. Which means that this shortcut was pretty much based on luck. However, after the recent patch that came out a few months ago, the shortcut is now much easier compared to its previous state. But don't let that fool you as you can sometimes still mess up easily if you get too carried away. This is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. It still has that strict timing and positioning that you have to consider about. But don't worry as it's nothing as crazy hard as the hot air skyway cloud shortcut or the fence shortcut at Blizzard Bluff. And with that out of the way, let's begin. So the shortcut is better off taken if you approach it at an almost 90 degree angle, facing directly at the top path. It doesn't have to be too straight as approaching it from the side will work as well. But personally, I don't usually do that as doing so for me will result in me failing the shortcut most of the time. So approaching it like this is usually the way for me to go. So in order for you to set yourself up, you would want to start drift boosting after this jump. If you're taking the route on the right side, this applies as well. Resume drift boosting until you've boosted about 3 times or so. It doesn't really have to be that important, but boosting at least 2 times will give you a guarantee in succeeding the shortcut because of the extra speed. Do note that if you did not manage to drift boost properly, you can actually jump over here and get the boost once you've landed and that will also help you in succeeding the jump. FYI, I've personally tested this shortcut without any boost and I can't really seem to make it to the top at all, so keep that in mind. So after you've done drift boosting, you should have enough boost in your reserves to last until the shortcut. Just drive on straight ahead and try to position yourself at a 90 degree angle around the edge of the bump. Now this is where you need to take some time to practice by jumping at the brown metal part. Timing is key and if you're not used to it, you'll probably have a hard time doing it for the first few tries. And the main reason for that is because you're already going so fast, plus with the added addition that your cart will be going up straight like so, you might jump a little bit too early or too late because your camera is kind of at an odd angle. So keep doing it a few times and you get the hang of it of the timing due to muscle memory. Also one thing to note is that you don't have to align yourself at a perfect 90 degree angle. Just make sure that you're directly looking at the shortcut but only jump in front of the shortcut if you know what I mean. And that's really it for the shortcut. It's not really that difficult now after the patch so I'm sure you'll knock it out of the park. If this somehow helped you out, why not subscribe to the channel for more Crash Team Racing video like this one. Also, this video is part of the Crash Team Racing Pro Tip series, so if you want to check out more shortcut guides like this one such as Blizzard Bluff, Dragon Mines or Hot Air Skyway, click on the left here or click on the right for my other tips and tricks video. This is the Viperian signing off and I'll see you in the next one.